was this previously um, 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 negotiated, this transition? And if so, why are the market shares down 3% today? I hate to say it, uh, Vincent, uh, on, on the back of perhaps slight concern uh, about what the transition represents. Uh, thank you, first of all. And then uh, about the process, uh, absolutely. I mean, this has been a process that uh, has been in uh, in the making for a while, a process in which uh, Saren was involved. And uh, I've had a lot of conversation over the past year with Saren on the transition and what it would take for, for the next step of the journeys and some of the challenges that, uh, that we had ahead. So this, uh, I mean, obviously the, the announcement is always something that happens in at one time and it, it seems uh, sudden from the outside, but from the inside, this is something that we've been working on for quite a while and has been very well, very well orchestrated by, um, by Robert and, and the board. Okay, I'll just go there one more time, Vincent, we can clear that and then uh, we can move on to the ongoing business and your job going forward as well. There, there is nothing behind the scenes that journalists like myself need to dig into about the suddenness of this announcement about why Soren is leaving. No, I don't think so. Uh, you know, this, uh, as I mentioned, this was really something that, that we worked on uh, together. We, we're facing now uh, a time where where we are faced with new challenges uh, after two years of bumper profits and supply chain disruptions because of the pandemic. We have a different set of circumstances, circumstances that, uh, that will require a, a very strong uh, focus probably for, for a while on, on some operational excellence, on, on building uh, on the strategy that we have started to execute with CERN uh, and that, that we have uh, elaborated together. And uh, I think it was the assessment of the board that as we were entering a new season with very different circumstances than, than what we have had in the past two years, then the timing was right to, to make this change. And, and that's really all there is to it, uh, because I've been working with Cern for, for 11 years. It's been a fantastic collaboration, learned a tremendous amount from, from him. And now we are continuing with the same strategy, uh, an execution in a different season, in different circumstances. But, uh, but we believe in the platform that we have built together. OK, uh, Vincent, the, the challenges are enormous. Um, you don't need me to tell you that, of course, COVID has left its own marks as well. Global su supply chain shortages, uh, changes to standards for shipping in terms of what they need to do environmentally. We have a war in Europe as well. Where, where's the key focus? Do you, do you need to cut costs with this as a backdrop? Yeah, I think that uh, going forward, we, we really need to, to execute with uh, two specific focus. The first one is not to, to deviate from the strategy that, uh, that we have made. That's also uh, what we have presented to the board in terms of intentions. Continuing to execute this strategy, it has served us well. It has shown that it resonates with customers, that it has a real uh, large potential and, and has given us a lot of uh, financial momentum. So we will continue to do that. At the same time, we need to be aware that, as you mentioned, the circumstances have changed tremendously. We're no longer facing uh, bumper profits because of, of COVID. Now we're in a world post-COVID where things are certainly not going back to normal, but are going to a very, very different uh, place than what we knew before. That will require that as we manage to execute the strategy, we also need to have a, a stronger focus on operational excellence, stronger focus on cost, so that we retain our license to operate and can keep the momentum that we have today. That's, that's what we have to do with the, with the team here in the, in the coming uh, quarters and uh, in couple of years. And that's certainly something we will focus on uh, very, very, uh, very strongly.